I found when I became a mother and I was doing the daycare drop-offs and the daycare pickup, and sometimes I would get the call that the kid is sick, you know, the, the normal call that when you start kindergarten comes every four days. Um, <laughs> this gets kind of hard, but I, I don't know if it was my perception that was holding me back or the perception of people around me was real, and then I, I was just feeling that and observing it, but I've had to struggle a little bit with knowing is me being physically present and physically able to make every meeting and physically butts and seat, really crude lack of another word, if that was more important than the performance. Because I knew I was doing a performance. I knew I was putting out great engineering or leading a fantastic team all my, once I switched to management, which was about the same time that I had my second kid. I had great feedback from all my employees. And yet I still had this fear, this concern that because I wasn't there 50, 60 hours a week like some of the other managers in the building, was I being held back or was I being considered less than? And so that was something I had to work through for a lot of years. And in the end, I don't know if I just got irreverent or if it was confidence, but I really let my performance shine for me and didn't worry so much about time on station. Right now, it's Welcome to Multiple Hats, a show about STEM professionals who have gone off script and carved their own path beyond the tracks that were set for them. Science, technology, engineering, mathematics, medicine, how they found their why and what it takes to make it happen. 